Okay, now that I've got most of the blue filled in, I'm going to go ahead and switch up to a new color. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take another copy of the stripe fill color that we did. And I'm going to toggle this on. And we're going to work on the mouth and the inside of the ears. So let's turn this to kind of a red. So I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation. And let's play with the hue, pull it to the left until we get into a red and we want eh, we want more of a pink so for this one I'm going to about 155 and saturation we can leave it up so let's go ahead and select that hit OK and let's go ahead and fill the mouth area first so I'm doing the same process as before so on the line art I'm going to select the inside of the mouth and select modify and this time let's expand it to 5 and on the fill let's go ahead and make that a mask so now we want to create a duplicate layer of this and I'm sorry it, once you we're gonna do the same process so actually make a duplicate layer of whatever color you you end up with um, keep a, a duplicate layer handy for that as well so now I've got a, a layer of blue and a layer of red to work with so I'm gonna make another layer and I'm gonna angle this one to work inside the ears a little bit kinda like so and same process I'm gonna select from the line art layer the inside of his ears here and then select modify expand keep it at 5, select my fill layer and mask it. And there we go, we're starting to fill in the red on this link. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply the, uh, let's see, the red to the nose, I think. So let's make another layer. And I'm gonna rotate this one this way just for some variety. same process I'm just masking out sections want the inside of the nose select modify expand 5 and let's mask that layer so let's see what do we want to do next we need I think we're gonna do one more color to kind of change everything up oh there's one more uh, one more area I need to fill which is that last little there's another part inside the mouth that we need to fill so that is this area here so select modify expand 5 fill layer and mask it and there we go another trick here is let's go ahead and we have, see how we have a little gap up here, and let's see, yeah, we have a gap right there. So let's go back to that fill layer, which was the first one. And when you're using a mask, you can just paint on it like a regular layer. So make sure you, let, let's go ahead and select the mask and your paintbrush tool. And let's see, 12, 12 pixels is good. We want a smaller brush, uh, hard hard brush and if you paint in white it's going to allow that layer to come through so I'm gonna go ahead and just color in white and see how that's showing up I'm not gonna worry about this side because we're, we're gonna fill that later um, but look for any other little sections that might have gotten missed and I think we're good and there we go so let's try throwing in a splash of kind of a gold color and we're gonna do the eyebrows the outside of the eye here the, um, this highlight down here in the nose and actually the way we just painted the uh, the mask let's do that to one of the blue layers and let's select I'm gonna select this one and watch this I can go ahead and bring some blue in where I missed a couple sections here 
So I'm just taking the same brush and I'm just going to kind of color some white. Like so. And I'm doing this all with a mouse, which is kind of ridiculous, but here we go. And fill in the areas that you missed. Now you can also use this, the magic wand again, but uh, just showing you a little different technique. And I'm going to zoom out. I think we're done with the blue. So let's go ahead and make a copy of this red layer that we have toggled off. Let's make a copy. Let's turn that layer on. Go to image, adjustments, hue and saturation. And let's drag this out to be yellow. Kind of a orange yellow. 55. That looks good. Make a duplicate of that because we're going to need more than one. And this first one, let's uh, let's just use how it is now. And we're going to fill in the nose. And let's go ahead and fill in one of the eyebrow sections like that. So select, modify, expand, 5, and mask that out. Like so. And let's do... Let's go ahead and do one more splash of yellow right outside the eye, which is, if I go to my line art, these two sections, and select modify, expand, and mask that out. Okay, so the last big thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill in these couple other areas with, uh, with the gold. But before I do that, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do the teeth and the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and make another duplicate of the gold. And simply go to Image, Adjustments, um, Desaturate. We want, where's Desaturate? Hue Adjustments, Desaturate. And that will basically turn it to grayscale. Another thing we want to do is Image, Adjustments, and let's go Hue and Saturation. And let's just bump the brightness up here. I'm sorry, back out of that. Let's do this by contrast. So image, adjustments, brightness, and contrast. So let's bump the contrast up. And I've got this set to use legacy as we're bumping the brightness up. So we keep we keep the stripe look there. There we go. And this is basically the teeth and the eyes. So I'm gonna quickly fill this in so you can show what area so I can show you what areas I'm talking about. And then select, modify, expand, five, and mask. Uh, make a duplicate. Yep. And then mask it out. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of this piece and get it to where we need it to be. And then I'll be back. Okay. And now we have all of our color filled in, basically. So the next step is to go ahead and give it some shadows and that's by using the dodge tool or the or the burn tool I'm sorry <laughs> so using the burn tool we're gonna keep making selections and kind of create some shadows so I'm gonna show you how to get started and then I'll go through and work on the rest of it and then we'll, we'll focus on the lighting effects but let's go ahead and start where we first started in the beginning so let's a, a, a quick way to do this is with your arrow um, I, uh, cursor make sure auto select layer is on and this will kind of make life easier so you can just click and find which layer is filling which section so let's click here on this cheekbone and we know that that's layer 5 the, our first layer so now let's go ahead and go back to our line art we want to select that area so let's go ahead and expand this a little bit select modify expand uh, I'm gonna do two pixels and we want to go back to layer 5 and your burn tool we want a soft brush circular soft brush let's see I think 200 will work okay so we want to just kind of darken 
the area here and just kind of give it some depth so I'm just just doing the edge a little bit just to kind of give it some shadow kind of like so and this will help kind of vary up the colors and so I'm just going to keep doing this on the image so I'm going to select this area select modify expand to and I'm gonna go ahead and add some shadow to this one and see how I'm just kinda trying to pull the edges up a little bit I'm not trying to go too heavy though the darker as you notice the the darker stripes are gonna they're gonna get dark quick so you gotta be kinda careful so I'm just kinda going in and adding some shadow to these different areas and you want to kind of follow the light source a little bit so let's uh, let's go ahead and we'll give the shadow here kind of on the bottom side and we're just trying to give it some depth and this will help kind of the top side of these little snarls whatever you want to call them this edge pops out a little more and this is kind of mimicking the uh, the bottom side of it so I'm just gonna keep going around the image and doing this and showing you um, uh, just following the same process and just burning a bunch of these colors in and then when I get to a nice stopping point I'll, uh, I'll be back okay so I wanted to kind of point out one of the one thing while I'm filling while I'm uh, <laughs> giving shadow to some of these fills man my brain does not fire it's late <laughs> um, the mouth you want to make sure that you're really darkening up behind the teeth so that they pop really well if you're doing kind of like an animal type thing so you can see kind of up here I've really really made it uh, almost black I've really dodged it or burned it pretty pretty heavily so I'm going to do the same down to this section just to kind of show you that you want it pretty dark um, especially to get these you want these teeth to really pop so let's do something like that and I'm going to go back to the layer right above it or right behind the teeth I mean and really dodge behind this other tooth over here so I just wanted to, to pull that out real quick and show you that's that's pretty important see how it's really popping those teeth out now and really giving this uh, this artwork some depth so I'm gonna keep going and if uh, I find something a little like that again I'll be back if not <laughs> I'll be done doing the uh, shadowing and we'll move on to lighting and stuff okay and I think we're getting pretty close to being done with the shadowing uh, of the links I've got a couple other little spots I want to do here and let me just get those all burned in and done so I'm gonna go ahead and select modify expand really get it knocked into your memory <laughs> uh, man this is it it's a pretty kind of tedious thing to do um, and as you can see I'm resorting back to my old habits of clicking on and off every single layer until I figure out where I am and what I need to do so we're getting pretty close to being done with this part I just want to give a couple little little more spots of shadow see how you just kinda of follow the the lines a little bit there's like I said, there's no real science to it. You just kind of, well, I guess there is a little bit. You just, you're trying to give it some depth, um, and you're trying to make a lighting source that's kind of up here somewhere, like way up here, um, and that's kind of the whole trick to it. So I'm just going around and giving it some shadow, and kind of like so. All right, so. 
we have our fill done for the left side so what we want to do is let's turn our guides back on and let's go ahead and hide the line art and this will look pretty interesting and that actually looks kind of cool I have to admit I, I like what happens when you when you do this method and you get um, you get the the missing areas in here I don't know that always seem interesting <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and take my rectangular selection tool, a rectangular marquee tool, excuse me, and I'm just going to go ahead and select this left side, and we're going to simply go through our colors and hit delete. And I just, I'm doing this individually because I want to make sure that Ideally, I want to flatten all these together, but this is just um, kind of staying a little bit cautious. And I'm watching what happens as I delete this the the overlap to each one. I think I got all of them. Yes, I did. Okay. So Control D to uh, deselect, and let's hide the guides again. So in the other. Um, video I did I had kind of a background texture going too and that was basically a leftover piece of the fill so you may want to leave a couple of these um, a couple of your base fill colors around just in case just leave them toggled off and the rest of them though let's go ahead and with holding shift if you have all your layers all your fill layers like I do kind of one after another just select them all and hit control E now using the shortcut that so many of you have told me to use now control J voila make a copy of that layer edit transform flip horizontal and if you hold shift just drag the whole thing right and you'll fill it snap into place there and control E let's go ahead and merge this sucker together now let's turn the line art back on you can see what we're doing. All right, that ends it for part two. If you want to click up top and go to part three, this is where we do the final touches and really turn on the lighting effects and make this thing a piece of art. All right, see you there.